We're not going to be doing that, however, right now, because the only person on the island who needs a mansion already has one, and that's Macho Man Gordon's father, who I think is right over here. Yeah, there he is. He's, he's wandering around with his lab coat thing on. Uh, hopefully we're going to be getting some exports. I didn't have a lot of economic trouble in the colonial era, surprisingly. At least in my first run, but then again, on my first run, on my little off-camera run, I had cotton, which is a luxury resource. I don't have that luxury anymore, which means it's probably going to be a lot more expensive. Do we have any luxuries at all, though? That's the real question. We have some coffee, I guess we could do. What about tobacco? Yeah, we got some tobacco. Uh, we might do some tobacco, because besides, you know, besides cotton, tobacco is kind of the other cash crop people typically went for, and honestly makes more sense than cotton. It honestly really does, you know. That's pretty much the dream, isn't it? Going out, getting a whole bunch of weeds that you can smoke. I mean, that's still the dream today. That's still the dream today. So I guess this makes sense. I'm going to put this probably right here. Just to get some tobacco rolling. That'll be our cash crop. That'll be where we get most of our money. Um, it is a little close to Gordon's palace, but to be honest, it kind of suits the time period, you know? I mean, Gordon wants some of that dank weed, too. He wants some of that dank weed, too. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have it right there. He'll be, like, uh, lording over the fields, watching the wage slaves do their jobs. So, oh. the shadows Ooh. that move. I've been cordially invited by Leon Kane, who's someone I've actually never seen before. Mankind. We are the Order, and you will be one of us. Oh, he's the Illuminati. Great. I've been watching your career with interest, Governor. I sense great political potential in you. However, joining the Order is not so trivial. You must first prove yourself. Gain your independence from the Crown, and you will be one of us. All right, so we have to increase popular support above 50%, and then we can join the Illuminati, who I'm assuming are going to become our main enemies, our main friends, given that they are contacting us. This is not something that happened in the sandbox game, I'm going to be honest with you. This is completely new. So, I don't know what they're going to do. I'm assuming they're going to be assholes, though, because if I know anything about the Illuminati in terms of how they're presented in media and games... They're always assholes. So they're probably going to be betraying us. They're probably going to be, like, you know, trying to take our island from Gordon. They're, oh, shit. The Illuminati's the reason Gordon, Gordon's family fell out of power. They're the reason that Tropico 4 happened. Those fucking bastards. Oh, I guess we're going to see where this goes. His Majesty has commissioned the finest... That sounds like a good idea. We are the shadows. So, apparently, the ultimate goal of the mission is to declare independence, which isn't going to be overly difficult, I'm hoping. Ah, fuck. Okay. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta splurge on it. We need to get this library if we're gonna get rebel support. So, I'm gonna get a library up. Uh, I'm actually gonna put the library potentially on this side of town over here. And we can put, like, the high schools and stuff as well. Because I think that makes sense. We're going to put all the education buildings kind of close together. Uh, as close together as we can get them. In order to, I don't know, just have things work. I don't know if that's a good idea, actually, in this game. Having those buildings overly close to each other. Because later on, you get a lot of issues where people won't have access to them. And I think access is more dependent now upon where you put the building, where it's located, than it is dependent on having it. As was the case in four. Being able to stand on your own is a virtue. That sounds like a good idea. Well, bring in more revolutionaries. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, I don't know how to satisfy the factions in the early era. Like the factions later on in the game, like the industrialists and the stuff. Once you get to the higher periods, the closer to home time periods, they're easy to satisfy. But these guys here, not so much. Like, I don't know how to satisfy the Royalists. I don't know if you even can. I'm pretty sure the Royalists just hate you by default because, you know, you're not the king and they want the king because the king gives them stuff or something. I don't know. Why would people... Hey, what causes someone to be a Royalist exactly? I need to know the logic here. You know, what causes you to be loyal to some asshole that wants you to basically kiss his ring all the time and think he's the, he thinks he's the best man alive? The burden of ruling twists up. Ooh, five managers. That's another system they added. Uh, managers now exist in the game, which uh, essentially allow you to kind of provide special bonuses to your individual businesses on the island, which are kind of useful. They're kind of useful. 
Not overly useful, though. And they're not like a game-changing mechanic. They're more like a, a special little upgrade you can assign. Then They're not very hard to maintain. Uh, to be honest with you, I kind of forget about them a lot. I, I, I'm just being honest. I usually forget about them and don't really use them. Uh, Actually, which is more my fault than anything, because they are useful, holiday. but they're easy to forget about. One you are losing, old chap. The colonies of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo are beating you badly. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to pay I the tax. I understand you are still struggling with trivial things like money. I will aid you this time, but remember. Alright, there we go. So I was offered help, which is good. Um... I wasn't able to extend my mandate that time around, which is unfortunate, but I didn't have, like, $10,000 to spend. I'm having some trouble with money. I think, honest to God, I think it is the lack of luxury goods that is causing some of this problem. So I do need to expand my luxury production. I need to get more tobacco going out. Uh, you're going to put it here. There we go. I like how the actual farms this time kind of display the radius of which they're going to be harvesting things, because that was one of the problems I had in Tropical 4 is they didn't really display that information all too well, and it caused some issues where my farms wouldn't be utilized to their max efficiency. There we go. So we have another cash crop hopefully coming out. His uh, Royal oh, that's some nice money. Has instructed me to present a 12-month mandate the... extension. We're going with that. We're going with all the mandate extensions. We don't want to fucking lose because the, the king is like, Ugh! I tell you, you're now kicked off the island. By the way, you can't even fight that off. You can't even fight it off. If the king decides that you lose, you just instantly lose. Which, uh, I don't know why. Like, I don't know about you, but if I was on this island, the king was like, Oh, dare you. I'd be fucking fighting his ass. I'd be like, oh, really? Well, send the fucking army then, you asshole. Send the army. No, nope, that's not an option, apparently, which is unfortunate. Also... This is annoyingly not enough room to build the final house. <laughs> that's a that's a problem. That's kind of a problem. I don't know what to do about that, really. Hmm. And I guess we could just put other buildings here. Um, we do need to get a tavern at some point uh, for entertainment purposes, so we might as well do that now. Uh, where is it? There we go, tavern. We could squeeze the tavern in here. It's close to the center of town. The, qu the quality is not going to be the best, but you know what? It works. It fucking works. We just need to provide some entertainment to people. Oh, these are some quests. Probably takes to my mandate. Treasures buried on our Research the shovel technology. I think this is a good idea. Uh, where is shovels? There it is. It's apparently the picture is not a shovel. As you know, oh. it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you... The entire island would crumble to dust and be lost. Let's get a air. let's get a singing competition. This is how we are basically going to choose our air. Now we can guess what some of these traits are going to give us. I'm assuming singing competition probably makes it more appealing to the masses, which is something we're going to need later on. So we're going to go with that. As the air was born, our all animals became mm, quiet. Not a light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib. And bow to the infant. So we just that gave is, birth to baby Jesus, we apparently. Our uh, Tropican Jesus. Uh, let's go with cheap steak, I guess. Oh, and we get to create him as well. Uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I don't, I'm probably never going to use you. I'm going to be just perfectly honest. I'm probably never going to use you. Probably never. There we go. We'll just give you that. Uh, I'm gonna give you, let's give you, I don't know, let's give you just like a, a warm black, tropican black, that'll be like the dynasty, and that's fine, that's fine, all the other things are fine. To be honest, we, we're never gonna use you anyway, so I'm probably just gonna go with uh, whatever it creates as the default, and I'm gonna just use that as the default, so maybe change, change the costume that he's wearing depending on the time period, but as for actual, like, facial designs and stuff. They're not going to really alter or fuck around with that too much. It's not really that important. Uh, yep, we got our second farm up and going. Let's see if we can't get some more ranches. Or, yeah, ranches. It's about some milk. Milk, which sounds pretty good. We don't really have a lot of places that can produce milk, though. 